does the environment that we operate in, work and home, this is how I'm taking it anyway, does it give us direction? And I'm like, whoa, what? Like, does it give us direct? Does it give me direction? Like, that's that's a that's next level, right? That is next level. Like, is one thing to ha- hey my hey my 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 room is clean, my office is clean. You know, my office is organized. Maybe that's another one. Does my office give me direction? And he's like. Do, you know, do, does it, does your office, does your environment make you want to go to the next level in your life? Does it make you want to be better? Does it make you want to be better than when you walked into that environment, that space, your kitchen, the living room, the dining room, your office, your bedroom? <laughs> I was like, holy, Wow. Welcome to the EQ Gangster Podcast, where you will learn practical tools to grow your mental and emotional health and intelligence to be the best version of yourself, both at work and at home. It is real, raw, and transformational. The journey of emotional growth isn't easy, but it's worth it. I believe in you. EQ Gangsters, you all know that I'm a a big environment guy, like in terms of the environments that we are in create different emotional environments inside of us. So that's that's your home, your room, your kitchen, your living room, your office, your cubicle, your your leadership environment, the, your culture, right? That's what I'm talking about. So I heard a fascinating clip from the interview between Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan that I just want to share. I thought it was fascinating. So again, I'm, I'm super big, right? I'm super big on, on, on environment. Like, you know, the importance of your environment, of our environments, the, the, the impact and effect of different environments on us, on me, you know, one of my, there's there's a few, but like I've gotten emotional when I was in big, big rock, Montana, big Bend, Montana, some, some place in Montana. We went camping July 4th with my two brothers-in-law and their families, and it's some bougie place in Montana. Anyway, there was a, a like super awesome, powerful, dope stream, big, big stream, not quite, not a river, because it wasn't that wide, but a big stream, probably... 20 feet, 30 feet across, maybe 40 feet across, 20, 20 to 30 feet across. And, and probably in some places two to four feet deep and like moving, moving, moving. Like you had to be careful walking out into the, the stream brook because like the current was, 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 jamming and and so anyway so the and man it was just it's I don't know I don't know what it is being around moving water is just it is intoxicating for me moving water uh, stationary water is, is 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 also awesome and I dig it moving water is just next level for me Another one is for me being in the mountains. When I'm in the mountains, it's it's next level. Next level, being in the mountains. And another one is, so, so I, I love finding, 
creative spaces to do work in. I love it. I love it. Trying for me, creative spaces for me to do work in. And, you know, comfort is an important aspect of the environment for me, right? How comfortable do I feel? Is the chair comfortable? Is the temperature comfortable? Is the, you know, right, lighting, the light, how much light there is, all that stuff. All those factors are critically important, y'all. Well, check this out. So, old Jordan Peterson, I think it's his book's 12 Rules to Live By. He's got another book out. Phenomenal insight. He took it to the next level. He said, does your, he said, this is powerful, man. It's got me chewing on. Does, does the environment that we operate in, work and home, this is how I'm taking it anyway, does it give us direction? And I'm like, whoa, what? Like, does it give us direct? Does it give me direction? Like, that's that's a that's next level, right? That is next level. Like, is one thing to ha- hey my hey my 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 room is clean, my office is clean. You know, my office is organized. Maybe that's another one. Does my office give me direction? And he's like. Do, you know, do, does it, does your office, does your environment make you want to go to the next level in your life? Does it make you want to be better? Does it make you want to be better than when you walked into that environment, that space, your kitchen, the living room, the dining room, your office, your bedroom? <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, like, Wow. And so then it's just got me thinking like, well, what, what environment do I want my kitchen to create, to, to feel, to vibe? What, what, you know what I'm saying? What, what's the vibe that I want, I want to feel in my kitchen? What's the vibe I want to feel in my bedroom? What's the vibe I want to feel in my living room? What's the vibe I want to feel in my office? And, and, and the reality is it's probably different for all those. So, you know, but have I been as intentional as Jordan Peterson was saying regarding the environment? And I'm that he was. I'm like, wow, I'm, I've not been that that intentional. That definitely has challenged me. You know, so do an assessment. Do I do a vibe assessment of of your various environments that you that you operate in that you live in? What are the, do a vibe check. What are the various, what are the various, you know, environments and, and, and cultures of the different environments that you find yourself in? Do, do like a legit audit, a culture audit, a vibe audit of each of your rooms that you spend the most time in and, and really and then, and then you, once you do that audit of the of the assessment, which is going to take social awareness and self awareness, like write down how it makes you feel. How does the kitchen make you feel? How does the bedroom make you feel? How does the how does your office make you feel? You know, going in. So as, as I'm doing lots of traveling and stuff with these different clients I've got, and. What, what's the vibe? I need to be more aware of this also. What's the vibe that each office I'm going into, each branch that I'm going into, what, how does it make me feel? How, how do I feel walking in? What, what's the vibe? What's the culture that, that each of those leaders has created in their respective business houses? And that matters because... I guarantee you, if you were to do a poll of your team members, your family members, hey, how does this make you feel? How does this room, how does this room, how does this room make you feel? There's gonna be some differences, but also there's probably gonna be some similarities. What are the trends? For me, I love I love plants. I love plants, I love moving water. 
but like what what environments make you feel what just like what music right how do you feel with reggae how do you feel with classical how do you feel with heavy metal how do you feel with rap how do you feel with country how do you feel with uh you know uh, jazz how do you feel with blues so you know what what emotions come up with each of those 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 different types of music those different genres of music same thing with your environments and and what are you trying to create right again man that's it just like man does my does like if you know we if we ever build a house like i gotta be thinking like okay what environment do i want each room of this house and then how can i create it accordingly like literally themed rooms maybe i don't know this is it just it just really hit me because i'm so big on environment there are some spots where i love working in because it just they've got plants and there's a lot of sunshine that's why i love colorado 300 days of 300 days of sun and no humidity and no bugs or minimal bugs the sun is always out but pay attention to how you feel in different environments that's critical how can you intentionally create craft and create an environment that brings the best out of you what environment brings the best out of you what space brings the best out of you and how can you create that environment that how can you recreate that environment in your home in your office in the spaces that you live operate move and work in thank you for being a part of this journey thank you for your support thank you for sharing you know, if there's an episode that resonates with you or, a, you know, you think a friend or a family member could benefit from, thank you for sharing an episode. The YouTube folks, man, thank you for your, you know, all the YouTube peeps out there, all the podcast peeps, just very grateful for you all and just being a part of this journey. Emotionally healthy people help heal people emotionally. Emotionally healthy leaders create emotionally healthy cultures which lead to maximize and optimize results, outcomes, performance, and engagement.